It came on a flush of enthusiasm in the late 50s and into the 60s by loads of people who, as I was saying earlier, suddenly discovered that on their own doorstep they had a form of music that spoke to them. It wasn't something coming out of a radio, it wasn't something that was coming from a recording company or out of a TV screen. It was their own history, it was their own community. The guy who started uh, one of the earliest folk song clubs in Scotland was a guy called John Watt. And he really was my mentor uh, back in those early days. I knew of Jack Beck, I'd heard his music before with Heritage and I, I knew that Jack was a, a compatriot of Archie Fisher and Barbara Dixon and some of these revered uh, singers. But I also became aware that Jack was something of an expert on this uh, um, strand of music, Appalachian music. I was always aware that those songs had come over um, with the, the emigration of you know, uh, 100, 200 years ago with people. And the songs had changed, but they were the same songs. You know, many people sing these songs and many people play these tunes. Um, and somehow the songs, the ballads, the tunes, the stories, they, they continue. And why on earth would they continue? They, they, they survive because they deserve to survive.